Peggy 7. In this tutorial, we'd like to introduce you to the diverse gameplay of the two factions and the different ways they sustain their energy supplies. Anno 2070 introduces two factions, the Ecos and the Tycoons. The Ecos opt for sustainability and are mindful of the nature surrounding them. The Tycoons desire efficiency and use proven technologies to accelerate their goals. These conflicting ideals generate a vast difference between the two factions. The Tycoons choose to generate energy by building coal or nuclear power plants, which give them a much faster output, but they have to pay the price for their efficiency by generating a negative effect on the eco-balance, as these production facilities pollute nature. The Ecos count on regenerative energy, such as plant-producing green energy and wind or solar power. Their process of generating clean energy does not impact on the eco-balance. However, the disadvantage to this approach is that they lack the efficiency of the tycoons and they require much more space for their power plants to operate. The Ecos have numerous tools which generate a positive impact on the eco-balance. For example, the ozone generator is able to clean the air and cleanse the island from pollution. The tycoons have fewer opportunities to counter pollution and the tools they have are not as efficient as the eco-tools. For example, they can store their waste in mountains, and this will have a positive impact on the eco-balance. However, later in the game, the tycoons will also have the opportunity to use eco-tools in order to free the island from pollution. For example, a river filter plant will be able to clean the water on a polluted tycoon island and will produce a positive effect on the eco-balance. As you can see, the choice is yours. Choose your path. Build your future.